G'day everyone. So what we have here, HVAC from one of our remanufactured F-150 Lightnings. Basically, this is a mirror image of the left-hand drive heater box, obviously made to suit right-hand drive. The whole heater box, injection molded plastic, so OEM quality, temperature stability. What we actually do is using a series of lines and a core and core system for the air conditioning, we're able to run the pipe work back to the original OEM location where they come through the firewall, meaning that we don't have to touch or modify any part of the heating system or the air conditioning system on the engine bay side of the firewall. Everything goes back to where it would be in the OEM location. So what we have here, this is the fresh air intake. So everybody would be familiar with the button on the dash, uh, fresh recirc, the little picture of the car with the recirc arrow. When it's on fresh, it draws air from outside of the car, from under the, basically where the wipers are. It comes into the heater box, down into the pollen filter, which is in behind this door here. That's what that looks like. So these heater boxes use the original OEM Ford yeah, pollen filter. When the car is on recirc, what happens then, which is when you press a little button on the dash, this motor here will tilt over and it will actually shut the air coming in from outside the car and it will recirculate the air that's already in the car. It also still puts the air through the pollen filter and then it's drawn down by the blower motor underneath. So this is a fan underneath that basically works as a vacuum where it sucks the air either from outside or from inside the car, depending on where you have the fresh or recirculation set. It then blows the air into what is like the body of the HVAC. Now the first stage of the air going through goes through uh, an evaporator. So an evaporator is basically the component in the heater box that the air will pass through. This has gas coming into it from the AC system from the compressor. Uh, gas enters in here, this being really cold with the air passing over it, then cools the air in the car. It also takes all the humidity out of the air, which is why you're able to use your HVAC system to defrost the windscreen, defrost your windows. So the next major part of the HVAC system is the heater core. The way this works on a conventional ice car is the engine will heat the coolant up and then coolant is actually pumped through by the engine's water pump into the heater core. On an electric car, because obviously there's no motor to heat the coolant up, they use a heat pump system which is very similar to like a reverse cycle air conditioning system in your house that will actually heat the coolant up also using a, a like a heater element in the engine bay as well and then it uses a series of electric pumps to pump hot coolant into the heater core in here uh, this is what that looks like it's very similar to the evaporator um, hot coolant comes in passes through here the air is blown through it and that obviously heats the air up as it passes out the other side, giving you heated air in the car. When used in conjunction with the air conditioning and the heater, what happens is the evaporator will draw the moisture out of the air and it will basically pass dry air through the heater. And that's what helps you defrost the windscreen in the car. So moving past the heater core, next to that, you'll have two motors. So one motor up the top, one motor down the bottom. And these are both used to drive, uh, they're called blend doors. So basically what happens when you change the temperature dial in the car on the HVAC, controls. It will then use these two doors to control the flow of air between the heater and the non-heated side of the heater box. So there's two channels here, one will pass through the heater, one will just pass through the evaporator and then onto the distribution head. So once the air has been controlled, the temperature has been controlled by the two blend doors here, the air will then pass through into the main body of the uh, HVAC. Uh, this is called the distribution head. So on the car and the HVAC controls, as you change the controls, say demist, uh, feet, face, or all, uh, there's actually a set of doors in here as, as well, which is similar to blend doors, you can see here. And these will open and close and move and they will control the direction of airflow uh, to wherever you want it in the car. So here is your right and left side uh, driver and passenger vents. So driver's side, passenger side, this is your demist. And just in behind here is your foot vent where the air will come out for your feet, here and here. And this is where the air is sent to the back of the car. 